President-elect refuses to invite Spanish king to her inauguration after lack of apology for crimes of conquest. A face-turning diplomatic row between Mexico and Spain has been reopened after the Latin America's country's left-wing president-elect refused to invite the King Philip to her inauguration because of his failure to apologize for crimes committed against Mexico's indigenous people during the conquest of 500 years ago. In 2019, Mexico's President Andreas Mar Manuel Lopez wrote to King Philip and Pope Francis calling for them to apologize for the abuses of the conquest and the colonial period. You see, talking about colonial era is one thing that the West is trying at all costs to avoid with everything in them because some of them don't want their citizens to know the crimes they have committed in the past. They don't want their citizens to start hearing things that will awaken them or that will aid their citizens to start to understand the world politics better. So whenever you're talking anything that has to do with colonial era, they, with everything in them, they try to avoid such discussions at all costs. I have sent a letter to the King of Spain and another to the Pope calling for a full account of the abuses urging them to apologize to the indigenous people, peoples of Mexico for the violations of what we now call their human rights. Lupez Obrado said in a video, which he posted to his social media accounts. At the time, the Spanish government refused to apologize, saying it profoundly rejected the letter and its content, adding the arrival of the Spanish on Mexico soil 500 years ago cannot be judged in the light of contemporary considerations. Our closely related peoples live always known how to view our shared history without anger and from a shared perspective as free people with a common heritage and extraordinary future. The response has failed to placate Lopez Obadro's successor and ally Claudia Sean Baum, who said her predecessor's call has been roundly ignored. Unfortunately, the letter in question was never replied to directly as best diplomatic practice, practice requires, she said in a statement. Instead, part of the letter was leaked to the media, and the Spanish Foreign Ministry then released a press statement. The Mexico government has not received a direct clarification no answer regarding this matter. Although Spain's socialist prime minister, Pedro Sanchez, has been invited to the swearing-in ceremony on 1st of October, King Philip has not. So, it is very normal. Yes, even some countries have called for a repatriation or payment or consigning what happened during the colonial era, but the West always avoid such discussion at all cost. Yes, but these are, these are discussions they can't avoid forever. Because without no past, there will be no present. Some of this past has to be revisited. Some people have to tender apology to some people. Some have to pay these people for what they went through. Because sometimes you begin to ask yourself, but we are not surprised because we begin to understand better what is happening in this world. What is the ICC there for? Even up to today, nobody in the government of Jack Chirac has been held accountable about what happened in Rwanda. There are many cases like that. So it looks like these international institutions have only been there to prosecute African leaders who don't do the biddings of the West. Yes, because we see African leaders who do the biddings of the West commit a whole lot of things in African countries. They leave office, yes, and they are sitting comfortably either in Paris or in somewhere in the world without not being invited, without not being indicted in any of this, any court of any kind in the West here. Why? Because they are doing the bidding of their master. But when you see an African leader who stood against them leaving office, you will see invitation coming from up and down. That is when you will start hearing about human rights this, human rights that. Yes, them that are even carrying themselves as the preachers of human rights, we can see how they are obeying the human rights in their own countries.